Every day we stare cancer in the face and let it know that we're here to fight, to care, here to keep hope and people alive. We will not stop until we stop it. We're the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. More than hope, we're the solution for ending breast cancer once and for all. To be a part of this army of change, connect with us today. Hello and welcome to the 15th annual Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation Virtual Miles for the Cure for Breast Cancer. I'm your host, Hannah Bruitt. For 14 years, this event has traditionally been held on the first Saturday of October. It typically includes a beautiful 26 mile walk down the southeastern coast of Connecticut. This year, however, is going to look a little bit different. In order to ensure the health and safety of all of our participants, we are holding a virtual walk. What this means is that you can participate wherever you would like and for however long you would like. Traditionally, we accommodate for all fitness levels by including a full marathon, a half marathon, a quarter marathon, and even a family-friendly 5K. However you choose to participate, we are grateful that you chose to participate in this event. Now, while we cannot be together today, we are very much connected in the fight against breast cancer. If you have not yet registered, you have the entire month to do so. You can do this by visiting our website and clicking the registration button at the top. Again, for our walkers new and old, we welcome you back. It is you that makes all of this possible. Now let's kick things off with our national anthem performed by New England-based musician Daniel Ray from the No Shoes Nation Band. Hey Daniel, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Hannah. I'm sitting out here at my house, gorgeous fall day, and I'm so honored to be part of the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. I was amazed to hear that every dollar raised goes towards breast cancer research. I haven't heard that before in most foundations I've ever been associated with. Really honored. So let's get this thing started with our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was Still there. Oh, say does that star flangle banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Daniel, for that beautiful rendition of our national anthem. Daniel will be joining us a couple more times during today's broadcast, so make sure you stay tuned. We now ask that you all join us in a moment of silence for all those who have been affected by breast cancer. We have a fun, informative, and entertaining event planned for you today. Throughout the live event, we'll be checking in with walkers across the country. You'll hear about the Foundation's humble beginnings and where it got its name. You'll hear a message from John LaMatina, a member of the Foundation's Scientific Advisory Board, who will share just why research matters. 
you'll hear from 2014 grant recipient Erin Hofstadter, who will share her successes on her research and where she is on finding the cure for breast cancer. And finally, we will hear from two amazingly strong women and breast cancer survivors, Pam Watt and Marcy Brensilver, who will share their perspectives on the foundation and why they have hope for the future. Many participants have already started their walk, so let's check in with Pamela Watt, who joins us from Waterford, Connecticut. Pamela is one of our board members and has been one of our leading fundraisers for years. Hi, I'm Pam Watt with Pam's Pink Posse out of Waterford, Connecticut. We're about to start our walk in the 15th annual Terry Broder Walk Across Southeastern Connecticut. For those of you that don't know me, I am one of the lucky ones. I had a rare, fast-growing, aggressive breast cancer, and I beat it. I am a 12-year cancer survivor. I owe it to research and advanced treatment options. However, treatment options are not advanced enough because we are still losing people to breast cancer. And for that reason, we need you to donate. We need your funds. So find us on the Broder site and donate to our page. We are here today uh, about to do the virtual walk. Uh, virtual meaning you can walk when and where you want. The posse has decided to walk on the traditional walk day, which is the first Saturday of October. We have some friends down in Florida in St. Pete and they're walking and raising funds and they are already en route. I hope they're doing well. Um, we are about to start and hopefully we will see some of you at the finish line. So posse out. Hey Pam, it's Amanda just checking in from St. Petersburg, Florida down here. It's really sunny, hot and humid, a little overcast, gonna definitely clear up throughout the day. Those who don't know me, I'm Pam's niece. Started walking over the past, I don't know, six years now. I used to drive around and be her pop posse's paparazzi. And my daughter as well when she was younger, now she's here, we're all walking down here. We got a good team that joined the posse down here, raising money. For those who don't know, I'm Donna, Pam's sister. I've got several friends here. They're ahead of us, walking to do and donating. Uh, lots of money we're getting this year. We're also doing a 50-50 raffle. And um, we'll check in with you in all a little bit. Thank you. Right. Enjoy your walk. We'll meet up with you later. This live feed was brought to you by Pfizer. Thank you, ladies, and keep up the great work. Our viewers at home, make sure you keep an eye on our sponsor loop on the top right corner of your screen to see our valuable sponsors who have supported the foundation and our cause. To give you a better understanding of the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, here is a heartwarming and inspiring video on why your donations are so important and just why research matters. No one could have possibly predicted what was about to unravel when two women, Terry and Norma, made the first connection in the summer of 2005. How a chance encounter would create a ripple effect so powerful that it would change lives forever. A chance encounter that preceded a promise. A promise to create a breast cancer research foundation where 100% of gross fundraising dollars go to research. A promise to never stop until a cure for breast cancer was found. The weapon to beat breast cancer is research, and the mechanism is you. Connect with us and join our fight. We are the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. I do miss her, um, and I know her kids miss her. She was just, she was a great friend. I very much miss my mom. Um, I miss the fact that I sometimes have trouble remembering her face. That to me is, is not acceptable. There is no daughter as you go through life not being able to intimately know their, their mom. we right now. Hi. It's Ashley. For me, Having uh, my mom's name be uh, what now embodies the foundation is super special. I have to imagine uh, our mom would be so proud of what this foundation has come to mean. 
and the impacts that it's had and the hope that it's given. Our namesake was chosen because she represented the most tragic aspects of breast cancer and the disease and what it does to a family. It was absolutely the right thing to do to honor Terry and to name the foundation, the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. It is a huge honor and we are very flattered that the foundation is in the name of our mom, but I think it does in a way potentially take away from the other incredible women's stories, particularly Norma Logan. The first time I met Norma, who was one of the original founders with Sandy Maniscalco of the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, and I got a hug and a kiss from Norma. She never met me, but I felt like I was being greeted the same way her longtime friends were. And I, I said to myself, I'll walk anywhere for this woman. I um, agreed to help Norma Logan start up a foundation to raise funds and direct them to breast cancer research. Norma was very passionate about research and science and trying to come up with something that could help people, including eventually somebody like herself. And uh, she recruited uh, myself and a few other people from Pfizer, who she worked with, uh, to try and help on the scientific end. As a breast cancer survivor, research is everything because I want to see, I want to find a cure. We're here because one in eight people get breast cancer and I'm, everyone knows eight people. Norma's vision was that we needed to tap into young researchers at institutions who got grant money that was not restricted so that they could take their great ideas and be able to pursue their research for at least two years. What has been great about this opportunity is that I've been able to grow my idea beyond myself. It's led to other projects with other collaborators, um, PhD scientists, uh, other oncologists to figure out how can we prevent women from getting breast cancer and how can we figure out for those women who do go on to get breast cancer really figuring out what is the pathway along which a, a woman might develop cancer. Every single step that they make gets closer to the next step. So every time a research is done on this, on breast cancer, it just gets us closer to where we want to be. Uh, very hopeful about the future. It's not going to be tomorrow, but it's not going to be 15 or 20 years either. Almost on a daily basis, new breakthroughs are being made, new discoveries are being made. Over the years, we've tried a number of ways to raise money, but our signature fundraising event is a walking marathon. Walk Day is an amazing day. It's a day of camaraderie. It's a day of excitement and spirit. It's a day of reflection, and it's an emotional day when you cross that finish line and you know that you walked 26.2 miles. Who does that? There's a lot of smiles going on and a lot of hugs and you know, a few tears because I think people are looking at each other and they're, they're saying, you know, we got this, we can do this. The walk gives me hope because I know so many people want to see an end to this disease. They're willing to walk, they're willing to train, they're willing to raise money. Donations are very important, they're crucial. And I want to thank uh, every person who has done the walk, every person who has made a donation, uh, because every dollar counts. We can raise enough funds to, to put out 10 grants a year. That would be terrific, and that would really accelerate our ability to advance treatments for this disease. We're not done, and the reason why we are not done is because we don't have a cure. Every penny you raise goes to breast cancer research, and I think that's pretty unique among any foundation. We know a lot more about breast cancer compared to other cancers, and we have a real shot at cure and, and improving treatment. If we can't cure it, perhaps we could make it more of a chronic disease that people will go on to live with. There's survivors in this country, there's hundreds of thousands, millions of breast cancer survivors in the United States even today. Foundations like the Terry Broder Foundation uh, make a big difference, again, in contributing to, to research and, and moving the field forward.
We want to thank everyone who contributed to that wonderful video. It really speaks to the mission of this foundation. As many of you know, the foundation's mission is to provide critical funding to research. What makes the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation different from others is that 100% of gross fundraising dollars go directly to breast cancer research. You can donate to the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation at any time by visiting our website and clicking the Donate Now link. If you are unable to donate online, you may send your donation to the address listed on screen. Now let's take a deeper look into the connections between three inspiring women, Norma Logan, Terry Broder, and Sandy Maniscalco by watching this video on how the foundation began. Norma Logan was first and foremost one of the kindest people I've ever met. Norma Logan was a, a, a very charismatic, wonderful person. It's kind, kind of hard not to think of Norma uh, without smiling. Norma was caring, humble, great aunt to me, myself, my brother. And she always put other people first. She always had a bigger view of the world than herself, and she never used the word I. Everything was we. And I got to meet her when she came to see us one day when we were training. And Sandy said, this is Marcy Brensilver, she's going to join us, and she's part of the group now. And I got, I'm gonna cry, a hug and a kiss from Norma. She never met me, but I felt like I was being greeted the same way her longtime friends were. And I, I said to myself, I'll walk anywhere for this woman. Norma decided to start her own foundation and that the pledge for that foundation would be 100% of your donation would go to breast cancer research. Every penny you raise goes to breast cancer research and I think that's pretty unique among any foundation in the country. And from that grew the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. Our namesake was chosen because she represented the most tragic aspects of breast cancer and the disease and what it does to a family. It is a huge honor and we are very flattered that the foundation is in the name of our mom. And I think it's important to recognize that, yes, our mother's story is so incredibly important, but so are all the other women who, who are survivors or who have unfortunately passed from this disease. Terry Broder, for me, was my mom, um, first and foremost. Uh, and I think for a lot of people, she was a very special person. And I'm very happy that uh, we had that community love and support, uh, but she was always my mom. I have to believe my mom would be enthusiastically proud. And I can't imagine that she would consider it any less than the greatest honor to have a continuing legacy like this. It was absolutely the right thing to do to honor Terry and to name the foundation the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. When Norma passed away, we were in the process of planning that very first marathon walk. With all the raw pain around Norma being really ill at the end and knowing that we were gonna lose Norma, we then were able to hold on to her selflessness and do whatever we could to propel the foundation forward. We wanted it to be the best possible thing it could um, to honor Norma, and that's what we did. It's important to carry on Norma's legacy because she, she truly wanted to end breast cancer, and I know that's, that's a contrived answer and everyone says the same thing, but you, you really saw her passion for it. You know, she, she was in and out of chemotherapy and still trying to put this, this organization together. She, she did it while she had breast cancer. It, it was her determination to put this together because it was something she truly cared about. We have to keep all their names and faces and memories in our hearts and use that to motivate us and carry us forward. For me, it is just a great legacy uh, that helps to keep 
my mom alive in a world uh, that she would otherwise not be around in. Uh, so I'm very grateful and it's very special to me. My mom would be ecstatic about the foundation and everything that it strives to accomplish. Norma had a, a wonderful vision and, and ceded it to all of us and we're uh, con continuing with that mission and that vision. Norma was really uh, a mover and shaker along with her best friend Sandy Maniscalco. Again, it was always the focus on the other person. Norma always took the focus away from her and made you the hero and the most important person in the world. And when you believe you're the most important person in the world and you believe that you're Norma Logan's hero, then you know you can do this. And that's what we did. What an amazing story about three strong women who have positively impacted the lives of so many. Next, let's check in with Stephanie in Framingham, Mass, who is a longtime friend of the Broder family. Hi, I'm Stephanie Calvo. I'm walking this year with my husband, Roberto, who's filming, and our daughter, Lily. Um, we are walking, coming to you from Framingham, Massachusetts, um, and we are excited to support a cause that's very near and dear to our hearts, the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, walk across southeastern Connecticut. I met Ashley, Melanie, and Sean Broder at the bus stop in elementary school, um, and I'm excited to be able to share this foundation and this amazing walk with our daughter, Lily, who's walking for the second time. Um, so we hope that everyone uh, enjoys their walk and hopefully we can all be together again next year. This live feed was brought to you by Copper Pot Pictures. Thank you, Stephanie. We're now headed back to New Hampshire where singer Daniel Ray will perform a song he wrote called Rise and Shine. The passing of Daniel's mother inspired him to write this song, which he now dedicates to his oldest daughter. Take it away, Daniel. Thank you again, Hannah. So I, I heard the other day that one in eight women are affected by breast cancer. And my mom didn't die of breast cancer, but when I was 16, she passed away. And the biggest thing we want, guys, is to pass on what they gave to us. So I wrote this song for my daughter. This is called Rise and Shine. So Rise and Shine is what my mom said every day, every morning, and had everything ready for us for the day. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional here. Um, but I, I'm sure you guys can relate with this. So this, this song is called Rise and Shine. Rise and shine, she said, every morning I don't ever want to forget. Her sun was shining in, even in the days the clouds rolled over my head. Breakfast on the table, I never knew how much I'd take in. One thing I wanted you to know Is that love will never let our hearts grow In time, will she ever know what we had Waking up next door to mom and dad Growing up in a family I knew Anything mom and dad could get me through just pass it on to you I can still see them when life was simple we were so happy then 
Will I be alone Holding a pillow as I search for a home Wishing for the one day When I can see them both here God let them stay One thing I'm begging you to know Is that love will never let our hearts grow In time Will she ever know what we had Waking up next door to mom and dad Growing up in a family I knew Anything mom and dad could get me through I could just pass this on to you And though the time may slip away My girl, I promised you Your daddy's here to stay And I'm here to stay Will she ever know what we had Waking up next door to mom and dad Growing up in a family I knew Anything mom and dad could get me through If I could just pass this on to you Rise and shine, she said, every moment I don't ever want to forget. Everyone has been touched in one way or another by breast cancer. Family, friends, relatives, and so the people who got involved with the Harry Brewer Breast Cancer Foundation have been uh, people who want to do something about that. You know, we have hundreds and hundreds of people working to raise money. But that money goes to researchers, people at the bench, people who are trying to come up with first-rate treatments uh, to try and cure this disease. New drugs, uh, new, new clinical trials, etc., in order to, to make this happen in our lifetime. The grants are reviewed based on their strength. We have a terrific scientific advisory board who really uh, are still very involved in cancer research. And they are really on the cutting edge of what's happening in the field. And so we'll look for things that are, look promising, although it's very early stage research, but things that look very promising and have the potential to be successful. The proof of the research that we've been funding has value, has been the fact that all of this research has gotten published, has gotten published in the major journals in, in the world, not just the United States, uh, and, and is available to any scientist. So if you think about it, you've walked to raise funds to, to support uh, uh, research that will be shared, not just locally, but globally. Look, research matters, and we want to make sure the research we're supporting are, are, are programs that can really move the needle in dealing with this disease. As John stated in the video, 100% of gross fundraising dollars go directly to breast cancer research. Every dollar matters. You matter. Don't forget you can do your part in the race to find a cure by donating money to the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. Simply visit the tbbcf.org website and click on the Donate Now link. You may also send your donations to tbbcf P.O. Box 785, New London, Connecticut, 06320. Let's see how some more of our walkers are doing and check in with Kate Davis in southeastern Connecticut. Hey, Kate. Good morning. Coming to you today from southeastern Connecticut, where autumn is just beginning to share its beautiful colors. We're here to honor Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation in its 15th year of hosting 
marathons. Uh, walkers pledge uh, to walk a certain distance. Sometimes it's a quarter marathon, sometimes it's a half, sometimes it's a full marathon. Recently we added a 5k distance and they decide how much they would like to walk and then they raise funds, 100% of which go to breast cancer research to find a cure. So we kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month each year and this year it's a little different. We're, we're virtual. Um, and it's kind of fun because I have family in other parts of the country that are going to join my team, the Silver Bullets, this year. I have uh, family and friends in California, family in New Jersey, family and friends in Maine and Massachusetts, and right here locally in Connecticut. They're all joining Team Silver Bullets and the Terry Broder Foundation to find a cure. Like I said, 100% of the donations go to breast cancer research. Let's find a cure. Too many have been affected, and it's time. This live feed was brought to you by Whelan Engineering. One of the best things about this foundation is that there are so many ways that you can help, such as participating in fundraisers or even hosting your own event. For example, 2020 Walk Chair and Breast Cancer Survivor Suzette helped raise funds by raffling off a beautiful pink pearl necklace and earring set from her store, Simply Majestic. If you are interested in purchasing one of these beautiful pieces, you can check out their website or visit their store in Mystic, Connecticut. It looks like we now have Karen and Debbie checking in from their walk in Maine. Let's see how they're doing. Hi, TBBCF family. Karen Stackpole here walking for my sixth year with Terry Broder. My name's Debbie Godbow. This is my first year walking for Terry Broder. And Team Silver Bullets. And uh, we're here up in Maine doing some walking, logging our miles for our virtual walk this year, uh, raising funds and awareness. Um, I'm walking for uh, Vicki Whaley this year. Um, she's my special honoree fighting and surviving her breast cancer. Um, and we've got many other friends and family that mm -hmm. have been tested and thankfully gotten negative results um, and just amen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking for all those who have had breast cancer and have survived it. Hooray. And for those who are battling the disease now. And uh, we're going to keep walking uh, till we know Breast cancer is eradicated and completely treatable. Um, have a great walk. We're going to get going and do some more miles. Because our shoes were made for walking. Amen. Walk on. This live feed was brought to you by the La Matina family. We've heard how the foundation began and why research matters, but now let's hear from 2014 grant recipient Aaron Hofstadter, who will help us understand what happens with your hard-earned and much-needed fundraising dollars. Research is important because people are still getting cancer, and those who get cancer, we aren't curing them all. So research is important to move the field forward and get the answers that we need. As a grant recipient from the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, we use those research dollars to address the question of breast cancer risk. So my idea, my passion, my interest is to figure out who is truly at risk for breast cancer. We were able to demonstrate that there is a marker of risk of premature aging in the breast tissue. So those women who go on to get breast cancer really do appear to have a premature aging process going on in their breast tissue. And we have a suspicion, we suspect that we might be able to detect that through a simple blood test. And so the next phase of our research is to figure out, could there be a blood test through which we can determine breast cancer risk? Breast cancer is a horrible disease, but we are making progress, and I am hopeful. I'm very hopeful. There's a lot of work going on in research, both at the, the individual researcher level, on the national level, and again, foundations like the Terry Broder Foundation uh, make a big difference, again, in contributing to, to research and, and moving the field forward.
Remember, all donations matter, and every dollar raised goes directly to helping find a cure for breast cancer. You can do your part now. Just visit tbbcf.org and click Donate, or mail your donations to TBBCF, P.O. Box 785, New London, Connecticut, 06320. Over the years, the Miles to Cure Breast Cancer event has spread across the country. We encourage all people to participate, regardless of where you might live. Amanda and her team are joining us for their very first walk right from New Hampshire. Let's hear from them now. Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Lonas, and I'm here with my team, Team Miles Away. And we are here in Wilton, New Hampshire, walking. We're doing the Family Fun 5K. This is actually our first year doing the walk for the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, normally we do this walk for another local foundation, uh, but with everything going on, a lot of events aren't happening, but we got wind that this virtual event, this virtual walk was happening and we wanted to be a part of it. So here we are. We're about halfway through the 5K and we are having a blast. We're really excited to be part of this foundation and the mission behind the foundation. Um, but 100% of the proceeds go to uh, breast cancer research and um, we really want to be part of that mission. So we're very excited. We hope everyone's having a great walk and we hope to walk with everyone next year. Bye. Bye. This live feed was brought to you by Brandit Marketing Solutions. Thank you, Amanda, for choosing to be a part of the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation. It is so exciting to know that our foundation is gaining momentum across the country. And it looks like we have another team checking in from Connecticut. Let's meet them now. Hi, I'm Lynn. Hi, I'm Sharon. And we're part of Pam's, Pam's Pink, Pink Posse. Posse. And we're walking today to find a cure for breast cancer. I am walking from my Nana, who survived breast cancer, and from my neighbor, who is celebrating her five-year anniversary of being cancer-free. Yay. Yay! Cancer has affected my family in a couple of different ways. Um, my sister died of cancer when she was 28, and my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in her 50s, and she still survives today at 82. So we Go are Karen. walking for them. Yay! Yay, Karen! <laughs> so we're walking, having a good day. And we'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Hi guys, Pam with the posse out here walking again. Got some friends with me. I'm Kevin. And I'm Sharon. And we're here to support Pam's Pink Posse and the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation for all of our friends and family members whose lives have been touched by breast cancer. Well said. <laughs> and we were noticing why we've been walking. We checked out the Terry Broder page and we noticed that Kate and the Silver Bullets have more funds than we do. So what do you guys think of that? We can't oh, let no. that happen. So um, Posse supporters, please log on and uh, make your donations. Bye. This live feed was brought to you by Vizen Studios. Let's welcome back for one last time today, Daniel Ray from the No Shoes Nation Band, performing his song called Where I Want To Be. All right guys, it's been a great day. I, I wanna share with you now a, a little bit more of an upbeat song about happiness and where we're all going. You know that 100% of all the funds that are being gathered today go directly towards breast cancer research. Um, this, is, this is just a fun loving song of, we're gonna get through this. It's called Where I Wanna Be. I got three minutes to help you forget the rat race work day monotony. Push back your chair and come on a ride with me. First thing you do is dig your feet way deep down in the sand. Take in the salty air with a drink in hand. Palm trees and ocean breeze slowly take it in. Sunsets, the island's red and you're free again. Grass skirts and reggae songs fill the atmosphere. Pineapples in your drinks and you're finally there. I want to wake up where the sun shines on me. The clouds disappear and I can clearly see. And this is how I want you to remember me. Won't you come and join me? 
This is where I want to be. Down here there ain't no rules. Do just what you please. No boss to bother you. It's just you and me. Feeling so good we're dancing right here in the sand. It's such a natural high we'll never land. I want to wake up where the sun shines on me. Clouds disappear and I can clearly see. And this is how I want you to remember me. Won't you come and join me? This is where I want to be. shines on me. The clouds are disappearing, I can clearly see. And this is how I want you to remember me. Won't you come and join me? This is where I want to be. Where I want to be. Guys, great time. Thank you, Daniel. Breast cancer affects the lives of so many. Here's a video from two survivors, Pam and Marcy, who can speak to why research matters. I was diagnosed in 2008 with two types of breast cancer. It changed my entire world. I was never the same. I am a 29-year breast cancer survivor. There's been a lot of advancements in those 29 years, but we still haven't found a cure. Typically when a breast cancer patient is diagnosed, a million things go through their head. The first one is typically death, but breast cancer diagnosis is not a death sentence anymore. Research has come such a long way. Research is the only thing that's going to give us either treatments and or cures. And if we can't come up with the cure right away, at least if we have treatments that will prolong a woman's life and, and improve the quality of her life. The Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation gives 100% to researchers and scientists that are looking to cure breast cancer. The walk has been our major fundraiser and it's, it's really the way we, we raise most of our money. Walk Day is an amazing day. It's a day of camaraderie. It's a day of excitement and spirit. It's a day of reflection. And it's an emotional day when you cross that finish line. It's the whole sense of the camaraderie, of the day, of being together. So I had a close friend that I met during my journey. And we walked hand in hand through the journey. But she didn't make it. So I reflect on her. I reflect on her journey as, as well as mine during the walk. And I reflect on those that, that didn't make it and those that are currently battling. The walk gives me hope because I know so many people want to see, they want to see an end to this disease. They're willing to walk, they're willing to train, they're willing to raise money. I would like to see a cure so that no other person has to go through breast cancer in their lifetime. And I'm sure that somewhere, some piece of it, They'll, it'll add up to becoming what we really hope it will be, which, which is a cure. You should donate because we need to find a cure so that your friends and your family never have to go through this battle. Let's check in with our walkers one last time and see where they're at. Hi everyone, my name's Shane Gay and this is gonna be my second year of doing the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation along with Pam's Pink Posse. I know I'm young, 13 years old actually, but I do wanna make sure by the time I am eligible to get it and it's more common at my age, I want me and my generation to be able to have a cure by the time we can get it. I did have a close friend that got it, but luckily she survived and I want that to happen to all of my friends and all of my generation. Hi everyone. Judy and Kenny Teal here from Pam's Pink Posse. We're getting ready to head to Old Saybrook for the 15th annual Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation Walk Across Southeast Connecticut. I can't tell you how this day makes me feel. 
every year it's something different and there's something more and it's just a great day to walk and reflect for all those people that aren't with us anymore and all those people who are here with us staying strong so I'm not very good at videotaping I just want to tell everybody enjoy your day think of us that are out there let's hope there's no rain and the sun's not too hot so for everyone next year if you're seeing this come and join us for a quarter for a half the whole volunteer whatever you do that day will change you forever hi my name's Danae Garbati from Waterford Connecticut so I was one of the original walkers for Pam's Pink Posse when Pam was too sick herself to walk that first year and then I took a little break because I injured my back and started back up I think three years ago when I was diagnosed with breast cancer so it became even more near and dear to my heart I was very lucky I got away with minor surgery it was caught very early did not have to have chemo or radiation so I feel I definitely benefited from the research that Terry Broder has done and I just really want to promote the cause so that at the least women would only have to go through what I went through because it does change your life no matter how little you do go through you just don't ever look at things the same way again so my goal is for nobody to have to go through chemo or even finding out that they have breast cancer and that's why I walk there's still time to register Registration for the walk this year is open through Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so through October 31st, 2020. Uh, you can register, form a team, uh, raise funds for this very important cause. We would be happy to have you, and um, together and apart, we're going to get this done. Let's find a cure. This live feed was brought to you by Doherty Beals and Banks CPA. It looks like everyone is having a wonderful walk. It has been so amazing to see all of these smiles and see how the foundation has impacted the lives of people across the country. As we wrap up today, we would like to give a special thanks to all of our participants, sponsors, researchers, and families who have contributed to this foundation. Without your efforts, none of this would be possible. Although our live event is concluding, the fight does not end here. We will not stop until we find a cure for breast cancer. We encourage you to continue to support the foundation by attending our fundraisers and events. You can find these at our website under the events tab. If anything, we hope that today inspired you to find a reason to donate to breast cancer research. Whether you personally have experienced cancer or you would like to support a loved one, remember that your donation matters in the lives of others. It has been a pleasure and an honor hosting this event and being with you all today. Thank you so much for your support. Together, we are making a difference. Be well, be safe, and we will leave you with one final message. I'd like to thank everyone for your time, your commitment, and your continued support. Thank you for your fundraising, but mostly, thank you for your support. Thank you. This organization doesn't exist without all of you. Thank you so much for believing in a small foundation. Just wanted to say thank you so, so much for all of your donations. And most of all, thank you for your continued support. I want to thank you all for your donations, for fundraising for the Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, for your support of our mission to find a cure for breast cancer. Donations are very important, they're crucial, and I want to thank every person who has done the walk, every person who has made a donation, uh, because every dollar counts. Thank you for your donations, for fundraising, for your support. Every dollar counts. I matter. You matter. We matter. Change matters. Research matters. Research is hope. Give, give, and give. The future matters. To make a donation, please visit tbbcf.org.